Here we are folks, we're live at Michigan International Speedway for the running of the Quicken Loans 400, our second race in Pullman Cup in this track as William Brock is your pole setter today. A little bit of a cloudy day today, but we're still expected to get some ra all of racing going anyway. Racing going. That's our lineup. Now let's get to the race as we have 20 laps today at Michigan. Not going to be rain shorn, but just a little cloudy, a little bit stormy today, in fact, but nothing could stop this race from getting finished. William Brock going to the green flag. We're underway at Michigan. Great start for the 14, by the way. Now for second place, Kyle Collins trying to go by. Three wide already to start the race. Oh boy, look at Alex Bush trying to find the high line, trying to fight his way to the front. But in the end though, Peyton Beasley out of nowhere gets second. Still a pretty clean, a good start for these drivers. They're three wide, des they're still three wide though, despite being three wide, they're still able to keep it clean. I gotta give them praise. Three wide and they're still clean, that's amazing. Collins third, McDowell fourth, and now fifth is Thoreau and Shazaz. Look at Shazaz. He's using the high line. He's doing good. He's got it. What a run on the high line, man. Great job. Oh, contact. Wow. Close call, though. They're able to save it. And JT Bryan is now going for the fifth position. Bryan gets it. JT Bryan has the fifth spot. Still three wide in the back. And impressed again that they're still keeping it together through three wide and over 200 miles per hour. Now the field separating a bit. Still a little bit of three wide left. We got a battle here. This is for the third position. Fetty McDowell gets a run from drafting with the 40 of Armando Shazaz. And the 40 is going on the bottom. Here he comes. Now look at that. Payne Beasley closing on the 14. Now there are these, it's down to just these two drivers battling for the win for some reason. Not sure how it works here in Michigan, but well, nothing we could do about that. Sometimes it all works, sometimes it does not. And well, we're just trying the best we can to bring the best racing here this season, but Michigan, well, it's, it's tough. Michigan makes it a little tough here. Well, there are still battles for three wide though. Gotta give it credit, but not really any powerful line, basically. That just doesn't make it fun. Looks like Arnett's got a run. Sacks on the high side. It's gonna be a thrill ride. Battle for the lead, Peyton Beasley. Gonna try to lead against William Brock, but Brock has the advantage on the high side. That's gonna allow the other drivers to catch up. This will be fun, who will be winning it to the stripe? Let's we'll see if Beasley can make a pass. And he does. What a move, Peyton Beasley. Brock is still fighting, but he lost the position already. And wow, just when you thought Michigan was just about to get boring, things just start turning for the better. Never mind. 
Beasley's pulled away on the low line somehow. And William Brock still hanging on to second place. And he did get to second place on the high side. Man, that high side is too powerful this track. I don't know what it is, but passes can work. You just got to get real lucky. This is a track where a lot of patience is needed to make a pass. But these guys don't have a lot of that as from the looks of it, but still it makes for some interesting strategic racing here in Michigan. Real strategy needs to, is, could be involved in Michigan. And they're trying to use that to their advantage. Beasley's still the leader, but William Brock, I've got a feeling he can still fight back. Eleven to go. Caution's out. And Eric Philip Goldberg is spinning on his top. What a spin. Ooh, big crash near the middle of the line. Wow. They just spun out. Wow, big crash. Never thought I'd see that in Michigan, but we've been caution free for the first half of the race. And now th this has turned into a, a completely different race. Here's an onboard look on Philip Goldberg. Wow. Goldberg spins and Brandon Nichols is up in smoke from the caution beforehand. So it's going to set up a couple more lap duel. It's going to set up a fight to the finish. And look at this. Two lap cars in front. Wait a minute. No. Paint Beasley was sent to the back. Yeah, I'm not sure why Paint Beasley was sent to the middle of the pack. Must have gone to Pit Road. Okay. One of the... Wow, that's weird. That's totally strange. Even William Brock is back as the leader. We're going back to green. And now the 41. It's a battle of the Stort Haas cars with six to go. Thoreau leads. Five to go, and now the racing's starting to be more competitive. Three wide for second. Dylan Ryan Acosta on the bottom. Thoreau is trying to hang on. Look at the running on the bottom. Man, that's always the uh, killer here at this track. They always get good runs on the bottom in turn one. But we still have some good racing. Anything can happen anyway. Four to go, but still anybody's race. Ryan Acosta second and Isaiah Bernesh in third. Four to go. Look at the run the 16 got, by the way, on the high line. Thoreau somehow sitting by himself. He is standing and he still is the leader. 43 just came out of Pear Road. He must have had an engine problem, as you can see. He's smoking. Oh no, wait a minute. He just came out of Pear Road. He came out of Pear Road. Never mind. Thought he had a problem, but he just came out of Pear Road. Three to go. And now it's going to be Isaiah Burnash that's going to try to catch to down the road. The lead right now is half a second. Still time to catch up for the 16. And it's a three wide bout on the back. Wow, the leader, Joseph Shrigley, still fifth. He's just barely hanging on to that position. Oh, for two to go, they might be out of gas. They're out of gas, they're pitting. Just when you thought Michigan was not going to be fun, things just turned, just became, just, this just changes everything. 
Harpole is your new leader. Two to go, but will they have enough fuel? Will anybody have enough fuel? Will anybody be able to go for it? This is all going to be about whoever has the most fuel. Coming to the white flag, I think Harple's out. We'll see if he'll try to save. And William Brock is out of gas. Brock is out of gas, white flag. One to go for Sean Harple. Will he hang on over Joseph Shrigley? There was a big spin in the back. I think the caution's out. No. Somebody got loose, but no caution. Lap car coming out of pit roll. This might be a deciding factor. Let's see if Harper will save fuel. Final corner. Looks like Sean Harple is going to be back at victory lane, and the Quick and Loads machine is going to win the Quick and Loads 400 at Michigan. What a fitting race. The Quick and Loads machine wins the Quick and Loads 400. That's the first time I've ever had a. That's the first time a sponsor in a car won the won a race that that they sponsored their own. That's the first time I think in Pokemon Cup history that the car with the race sponsor in his car won a race in that sponsor. Wow. That's incredible. It came down a few miles with the leaders pitting with three to go, but Sean Harple wins the race in the Quicken Loans 400, and what else? A Quicken Loans machine. That's amazing. That's the first time I think I've ever seen a race sponsor share the a race sponsor no wait that's the first time ever that's the first time I think in Pokemon Cup history in which a car sponsor sh that shared the same sp that a sponsor that shared with its race no wait, I can't even say it right the car that had the same sponsor as the race itself winning in that race that's the first time ever happened that's history making folks that's amazing and we're just 10 races through we're just a quarter of the season th just a third of the season through which is great incredible but we still have a couple more ra we still have plenty of more racing to go and I'll have the point standings I promise after race 10 I'll have the points up on Facebook so just to let you know what's been going down here after 10 races so anyway, congratulations, Sean Harple winning the Quicken Loans 400 in what else? A Quicken Loans machine. And hope you guys enjoyed this race from Michigan for what it is. And we'll see you guys at our next race, which will be at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Hope you'll join us at Hotlanta. We'll see you guys later.